Hi everyone. I am so excited to be here with you guys this evening. I am on the Swag Her page today. I know, it's so exciting. So my name is Samantha R. White, CPC, Certified Professional Coach. I am the Christian Mindset Coach and I am so excited to be here. This is my first time being on this platform. And for those of you that don't know, um, because this is a whole new space and a whole new environment for me to be in, I focus a lot, a lot, a lot on Christian health as far as your mind and working through without medication. I am a new media personality here and we will be learning all about mental health. So please join in and say hello. I'll make sure to give you a shout out and ask me any questions you would like to know. I would like for my lives on this platform to be a open conversation. So please ask any questions that you have about me, about this platform and what they have going on as far as mental health or anything else. Um, and then we can get to know each other and then we can work through all the things that are to come. Sadia, hey girl, how you doing? I'm so excited, <laughs> literally like over the moon. So what is it that you guys wanna know today? What are you thinking about today? I specialize in depression and low self-esteem in African-American women, but we can talk about men, we can talk about whatever, however, whenever. Um, oh, I completely forgot. I have a master's in developmental psychology and I own Consult Positivity. And we have a group called Overcoming, no, pause, sorry, too excited. We have a group called Conquering Mental Health and we work through a different topic in mental health at least once a week. And that's a great question. Where am I located? So technically, Consult Positivity is completely virtual all over the world. I have clients all over the world. Um, me, myself, we are located in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Um, my husband is in the Army, so I would say right now we're located at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. <laughs> but, you know, it could be anywhere. We could, we could go to Singapore tomorrow for all the Army cares. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I've always wanted to travel the world, you know? So we'll see, we'll see where we go next. Uh, I'm really excited to see where we'll be at the next time. You never know. Oh, you are? Where are you located now? So Sadia says that she is a army brat. I've never been one before. Truth be told, like no one in my family is military, so Encountering with my husband was like my first experience with the whole military spouse and getting your ID and all of that. But I found a fabulous group of women here at Fort Bragg and they have just been so honest and open and helping me like get situated because this is a whole nother life. Like, you know, like you got the army life and then you got civilian life and then you still got to try to be an entrepreneur and hear about other people's problems. It's just like all over the place. Oh, great. Oh, I met a um a group of retired women a group of retired women this weekend. Earlier this week, and um she was asking me when I was going to be retired and then I was just like hopefully soon because I'm working on getting rid of debt, which we can totally talk about. I am working on um like me and my husband being debt free, we're both 27. I actually just turned 27 on the 27th. So we're working on um, being debt free. We're working on getting our student loans forgiven. Any like, and then, you know, as you get rid of all of the things that are constantly taking more and more money from you every month, then you can work towards being re retiring early because you'll be able to save up that money. And then setting a goal for how much money you wanna retire with, you know, it's a million dollars cause you, you gonna be bossy and flossy or whatever, you know, just working towards um, getting rid of those debts and those things that are taking all of your money and then saving up and then retiring. So it's a really simple process, but you just ha gotta have all the steps. And hi Jarmel, uh, and oh, thank you for my birthday. It was, I think a week and a half ago, it was really cool. We went to the beach and everything. So it was mad dope. Um, 
and I like the summertime it's like my favorite time of the year so I was really really excited to go to the beach and hang out with our family and stuff so that's why I said I'm pretty much like an you know an open book and I would love to um, help you guys in any way possible and you'll be seeing my little smiling face around it'll be great like that'd be dope I'm really excited for this partnership and of course you know we'll be showing different oh, you do I'm sorry like every time I see it come out I instantly read it I have those same earrings so I work with women and families that have been impacted by stillbirth miscarriage oh the see more button is not working for me honey I can't see the rest of it Facebook is not being my friend so I'm clicking see more oh there she go miscarriage pregnancy and infant loss have you encountered that population yes oh my goodness so uh, a little bit more about me they I was recently diagnosed with um, PCOS which I'm not accepting because whatever but um, I was recently diagnosed with PCOS so I joined a group um, for women who have a hard time you know getting pregnant or whatever and a lot of the girls were talking about steams and there's a lot of like natural ways which is like everything that I work with you know I really want it to be holistic as possible um, and I believe in like trying to help you any way that I can like without medication and just really trying to get your life together you know and then I also believe that there's a time and a season for everything on Instagram earlier it was such an inspiration I saw this lady who is 54 I believe and she is pregnant with twins naturally and she has this is these are her first like this is her first kid ever well I guess these are her first kids because it's two of them but I just thought that was so cool you know you never know what God's time and place is for you and uh, like rushing it and trying to move through it's just my husband had to teach me that have patience so yes I definitely work with that population a lot especially since my business focuses um, solely on women um, but like I said, this live is men or whatever, you know. Um, but my business focuses solely on women. So I work with a lot of women that have been through a lot of those different things. And it will be great to share inspiration with them. And I do it all the time. And um, yeah. What, what? Yes, waiting is always a difficult season, child. Waiting for anything. Shoot, me waiting in line at a fast food restaurant. Just... Oh, and then my brother is horrible with waiting. Y'all, let me tell you, he was in line to buy these shoes. He had literally been waiting for their release or whatever, the Yeezys or whatever. So he's in line. Do you know that they take forever to do it and um, to, like, bring the shoes from the back or whatever? And he walks away. Zero patience. I have been talking to him about that so heavily. Like, bruh, you have got to have more patience. <laughs> he has none. And, uh, oh, yeah, my business name is Consult Positivity. And it's really cool it's like my happy place I've been owning consult positivity for two years a little over two years now and oh I went live earlier from consult positivity just letting everyone know that I have um, officially been verified by Facebook like I was so excited because I've been trying to get them to do it forever and they wouldn't and then magically today just like Ta -da! it is fabulous um, yeah, so connect with us, you know, reach out to us. We're here. I always say us because it's like me, Samantha, and then consult positivity. Um, but it's me. <laughs> but I always say us. And it'd be great. Definitely let me know um, whatever women, you know, that you would like to connect with me about just that or to talk about whatever. I'm always here. To help women any way I can especially women in our community because I feel like mental health is so stigmatized in our community you know what I mean it's like people really don't believe or accept that us as African Americans we can even have mental health issues and then let alone that there is something that can help us get out of it um, and I was doing I'm doing courses um, so my women can learn virtually and I was doing one on anger management today it's so heavily requested and I was telling them that just because this is the way you are now this does not mean this is how you will always be or how you have to be you know what I mean like 
I had this one lady, she was just like, this is just who I am. Well, in, in actuality, if we start back at your birth, you were not angry then. You did not have these severe, you know, anger, hot flashes almost, you know, like severe mood swings. It's a traumatic event that happened to you that caused you to feel as though, you know, and, and you have every right to have that moment of anger, but also as working through it and getting healthier, you realize that you don't need to take that anger with you because it's not hurting the person. The person is probably living their best life or, you know, doing whatever they're doing. It's hurting you and it's hurting the people that you care about the most. And so that's what I was telling them. Like, it's not who you are. It is something that you have attached to you, but it's not who you are. And you have the power to break that attachment at any given time. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you for following up with me. I'll be there. I'm all over the place. Um, but yeah, like really think about all of the things that you have let attach themselves to you. And then like all of the soul ties that you make. And I'm not here to condemn anyone for anything because we was all young one day. But just make sure like whoever you connect yourself with, whatever you let attach to you, even some of your family members, um, your friends, your partners, or husbands, spouses, whatever you want to call them, like just check your peeps because what happens is that a lot of times the people that can hurt us so deeply are the people that are connected to us, that we have allowed them to come in and connect with us. And when we allow that connection, we open the door. You know, I gave this analogy one time on Consult Positivities Live. I was saying, say you have a house, right? And in your house, you have your living room. Well, if you're having a party, everyone's in your living room, you know, or they're outside and you're barbecuing or something like that. And then in the bathroom, obviously, that is an open area because people have to use the bathroom. But your bedroom is closed off. And you don't have to say, don't go in my bedroom. People automatically know that that is a circle or it's a section of the house that is strictly for this person or these set group of people. You know what I mean? So when you say it's the same thing with your acquaintances, your acquaintances can come to the barbecue. You know, that's cool. It's whatever. They can be outside with the barbecue, bring their kids, whatever, whatever. Then when they want to go in the house, if this is their first time there or if they're just an acquaintance, they would normally ask like, hey, can I use your restroom? And then you would show them where to go and then either they would show themselves back out or you would wait and then show them out. That's because that's the, the border of the circle that they're allowed into. You see what I mean? And then like your friends or colleagues may come in your house and they may sit down and watch a movie with you or something like that because that's the area that they're allowed to go into. Now your husband, your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, whoever, actually goes into your bedroom with you because that is the circle that you have they are allowed full access so just be careful who you allow full access into your life because a lot of times once you give that access we stop watching their behaviors and we just allow them to be who we think they are and when actuality they're going to be who they are and whatever facade that they show to you in order to get into the closeness or the holies of holies or your bedroom in the like in the example it's your bedroom but in your life it's like in your heart you know and those people that you allow in there those are the people that have the most potential to hurt you now am I saying keep your guard up and keep all these walls and stuff no but I'm just saying make sure you do a little bit of background check on people you know check check their references and be watching them for who they are and not who you want them to be a lot of times uh, we fall in love with people's potential or who they appear to be but make sure you definitely check on people because when you don't you leave a lot of room for a lot of hurt and then if you happen to get hurt that's that's cool you know work on that hurt release that anger and then also either disconnect yourself from that person or decide if the hurt was severe enough or you know for you to need to disconnect if not then maybe you can think about um, setting better boundaries because some people are literally only there to be your acquaintance don't try to make everybody your friend because they are not like and that word is used so loosely and I I low-key blame Facebook just a little bit that everybody ain't your friend and um, and I'm sorry, I'm from the country, so this is just how I talk. <laughs> Everybody ain't your friends, so you just have to really watch them because, like I said, like a lot of the clients, when I talk to them, 
it's a person that they let close to them is the person that hurt them. You know what I mean? And it's, it's sad and it happens, you know, it happens to the best of us, but it really teaches you to be sure that you're sure that you're sure before you invite them to the barbecue. Be sure that you're sure that you're sure before you let them come in your house and watch Netflix or Hulu or HBO or whatever you got, Fire Stick, all those things like, and those are, it's a metaphors of your life. Like make sure that you're sure before you let that person get closer and closer and closer to you. Because once the hurt happens, you know, blaming yourself then is there's no point. It's just picking yourself up, dusting yourself off. And then how are we going to move forward? And how are we going to make sure this doesn't happen again? Now I know you just downgraded a notch. Now you're an acquaintance and now you have to stay outside. And when you go to the bathroom, I'm going to watch you because you steal stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not like actually in your house, but in your life. You know, they may be stealing your joy. They may be stealing your happiness. They may be stealing your peace. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have got to keep your peace. They may be trying to steal your peace. And when I tell you that nothing is more valuable than your peace, child, you can have no money. But if you got some peace, you all right. Make sure you protect your peace. Straight facts. All day, every day. Work, home, school, job, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, protect your peace. Because if the devil can get it, or if the devil can use somebody to get it, snatch that peace right on up. And then you spend all day trying to get it back. When you could have just kept it in your little box happy mm. and another tip that i have i I'll just be thinking of all sorts of stuff god be just giving me stuff another tip that i have is when you're at work um in a and the only reason i say at work in any environment that you can't control the entire space like at your house you know you should have more peace but when you're at work try to set up things so that you can be reminded of things that make you happy things that really bring you joy and it will be easier for you when someone tries to steal your peace to be reminded that you are in control of your own peace you're in control of your own body so when um your boss slams that paper on work on your desk and tells you you need to get it done in 12 minutes then you're like it's cool because i was ahead and i wasn't doing anything but playing on facebook anyways and my peace is fine and i'm still gonna do the work Instead of letting it upset you for the rest of the day and you go home and you take it out on your husband and your kids and your whatever. Just redefining yourself. And we do a lot of like uh, exercises, like working towards more peace, more peace, more peace. Because what you put into your body is what you get out. So you want to eat spiritual meals, eat positive meals. And when I say that, I don't mean like actually eat it. I just mean like continuously putting in good because when you change your mindset which is like my whole that's a whole different conversation but that is really what I stand on is when you change your mindset and you give yourself positivity like all the time you'll see that you'll begin to like it's almost like it just comes off your skin it comes out of your body you know it, it changes you and continuing to give yourself good positive vibes will give you so much more in the long run you know uh, misery loves company people always say that but so does negativity you know like people who are always being cynical always being critical are always giving you bad vibes bad juju bad whatever then those are the people that you want to try to keep in that you keep out your circle but if they're related to you or if you have to be around them then keep them as an acquaintance so then that way you can see like a separation between the two of you so your bubble is protected and then your inner bubble your sacred place is definitely protected because what happens is the person the negative person starts shooting negativity at your bubble and then for whatever reason you let them inside the bubble and now they're like trying to shoot negativity into your inner bubble and now that negative stuff is just like pouring on you and it feels like a dark cloud is coming over you and you gotta start pushing people out so i hope you guys learned something today and share it with someone 
write in the comments any questions you may have. I'm going to come back up here uh, often and I'll be up here um, answering comments and questions and I just want you guys to know that you are loved. You know, I love you. Everyone at Swag Her loves you. If you have any questions or if you want to be interviewed, please shoot us a message. I would love to know what you do. And um, most importantly, God loves you and you are important. You're special. You're beautiful. You're awesome. You are fabulous. And I really hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening and be blessed. Bye.